Hey guys, this is a guide on how to shorten Notion links. So you might know of them as pretty URLs or custom URLs. Now what happens is when you build a Notion, a page with Notion, it will have a long URL. Let me see. It will have, let's see, share to website. See this right here, how to merge tables. That looks good, but then it's 3D86, blah, blah, blah. Now that's not what I would call pretty URL. Um, when you build a Notion website with simple.ink, which by the way is free, it takes a couple of seconds and you just paste this actual very page. You paste it here, try creating a website. It's free, costs you nothing. We have a very generous free plan. Uh, in full disclosure, the rest of the guide with pretty URLs will only apply to paid plans, but we have very accessible plans. So I'm just mentioning that right out, out the gate. Um, the custom URL, the pretty URL feature is only available on paid plans. But what you need to do in order to enable that is, oh, see, we have here a perfect visual example. of. So we'll, we'll be going from this or your name, that's notion, that site slash blah, 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 to this, yourwebsite.com or whatever you pick, um, slash design inspo or something like this, anything custom. So step one would be to have your notion website ready, which is built with simple.ink. As I mentioned, it takes a couple of seconds. Step two is once you have the Notion page built, you'll be in Simple Ink in the dashboard right here. Um, let's see, what are we doing? We're gonna go to Pages, and let me actually let me actually open the website right here. Let's see, I have Work Experience Educate. Let's see this one, Education. So in here, as you can see, the URL is cost is currently Education. Now. On paid plans, what we do is we automatically take, we automatically build pretty URLs, but I'll be showing you how to edit, how to set one. So we try to be one step ahead and automatically do it for you. But um, if you wanna add something else, or if you, let's say, just had an ugly quote unquote URL right here and you wanna set one, this is where I'll be showing it. Um, so right now it's slash education. If I wanna change it, I'll go to the pages page I need to find the page, so I have it right here, but let's just say it was, I have many pages and I don't know where I can find it. I'll just type it in, education. I have my page here. It's not in any of these databases. So once I click that, um, what I'll do is I'll be on the very first tab of this pop-up. I have page and pretty URL. So this is exactly where the action happens. Let's just say I wanna, I want it to be, so I have my domain here. Where I, I just picked a quote unquote ugly one so I can leave you guys with a beautiful uh, subdomains of simple.ink. Although you could add a custom domain if you have one. I just haven't connected mine. Let's see, let's say I want slash edu. Education seems fine, but let me just pick something else just for the sake of it. Click save. And what happens is I'll need to refresh it a couple of times just at the, pay, the, the settings uh, propagate and if I click education, let's see, not yet. Just refresh a couple more times. And let's see right here. There you go, it's slash edu. So I've changed that now, and this is pretty much how to set a sh shorter Notion URL, a custom URL. Um, as I mentioned, I have a .simple.ink subdomain, but you could add it on a custom domain. So if I had uh, chdaniel.com slash edu, now I've just changed that, I just added this pretty URL for that page. So I can change that to absolutely everything right here. And if, if I want to add the, the ugly stuff for whatever reason, uh, let's say I want to make it hard to find, although I would use the password protected uh, feature for that one. I could change that. I just need to click save, refresh a couple of times. And um, that is pretty much it.